doesn't matter like who like who you are or wh like where you come from or anything because like we're like ninth graders and tenth graders and the seventh graders that are doing this um, so like anybody can do it and anybody can make that change if they really want to before this intensive I went with what other people were saying but um, and I wasn't becoming a leader, but with this intensive, I've kind of seen that I can do more than just be a person that follows other people. I think it helped me see that, um, that I can do a lot more than I've been telling myself I could. When you're in a group with your peers, it can be scary sometimes to step up and become a leader, but this trip has definitely given me an opportunity to do that. You know, I think once we finally get in Florida, we'll realize how our efforts have really materialized in front of us. You're just a kid that spent time raising money, getting certified, and doing all of this, like everything, uh, going underwater to scuba dive to, to do this, to save gold. So, yeah, I hope that they get that we've really tried hard and we're really leaders of our own lives. I think we have intensives because it really like digs deep into learning and it's like a different way of learning instead of just sitting in a classroom. Taking kids out of their comfort zone prepares them for the future and helps identify, possibly identify a passion that they might carry out in the future. I think that we do intensives at Polaris to give students an opportunity to um, learn in a different environment and in a different way with different people. Um, so far in this coalition, I've definitely interacted with people that I had never even met before, other kids that I wouldn't have the opportunity to meet or work with otherwise. Everyone in the SCUBA like, meetings and the, the SCUBA intensive, um, I feel like I've grown closer to them because I've been around them more and they know something that not many people know. Like they, They've been through the same thing when it comes to SCUBA diving, so I feel like I have a different connection with them. The level of engagement that I see during intensive week is really high and I think it bleeds into um, the classroom throughout the rest of the school year. In scuba diving it's really important to have a dive buddy with you so that if something does go wrong you're going to have someone to help you because if you run out of air with no one else around you you're just going to have to try to make it to the surface but if you have a buddy you guys can share air. And I think it's similar to in school, um, if you're struggling and, but you don't want to talk to other people, you think it's embarrassing, then it's kind of, it's going to be really hard to make it through school. But I think it, if you do tell someone and if you do make connections in school, then you're going to have a lot better time and learn a lot more. So these students are part of a year-long project. Um, a year ago, I received a grant from a group called Fund for Teachers. And they basically allowed me to design my own learning experience. And what I did was I flew to Florida, and I got my scuba certification. And I volunteered with a group called the Coral Restoration Foundation. And that group helps restore endangered coral reefs in the Florida Keys. And I had such an amazing experience, I wanted to bring it back to Lab Polaris. And so with help from Colorado Scuba Diving Academy here in Fort Collins and our own Pooter School District Foundation, I'm able to take 20 students with me this May and they have all been certified as scuba divers and they have been working all year getting jobs and raising money and developing presentations. And so these students have written a song in anticipation of their very special trip. And they'll be going with me in May and putting on their equipment and diving down to the bottom of the ocean so that they can be of service and help 
plant healthy coral on the bottom of the ocean so hopefully it begins to grow back and makes the coral reef a more healthy place. The most challenging thing for me was probably the studying because I'd never, like I'd studied before, but it was never like as big of a deal for me, especially because there was no connection. Because it's one thing to study for tests that you're doing just to get a passing grade. It's another to do it for something because you have a passion for it and you really want to do it. And the studying was super hard because we didn't have a whole lot of time and there was a lot that we had to do. And it was very, very technical stuff. It wasn't like you put the thing in your mouth and then you breathe. It was like a lot of very complicated technical stuff. And I ended up reading a lot of the stuff two or three times before I truly understood it. Um, when I first saw the students studying in the library the day that they got their uh, diving certificate textbook and they were studying it and quizzing each other, um, you know, they, they, t they saw the problem, they had a goal, and they took the necessary steps to achieve that goal. And, and I think that is a big benefit of an experience like this. It was incredibly fun to actually go and learn this entirely new thing and actually get to go underwater and swim. I remember in the first week when we were actually getting certified, um, we went into the deep end of the pool for the first time and we got to swim laps back and forth underwater and it was incredible. It was like the best feeling ever. It was like you were flying and you could like breathe underwater. It was pretty crazy. I've been through like a bunch of different intensives, but this one is very powerful because I mean, we're breathing underwater. I never thought that I'd actually get the chance to scuba dive, especially in eighth grade. Crater was our open water certification dive, and that was uh, our, so much different than any pool experience that we ever had. We got to show our skills that we had learned during the week, like sharing air with our buddy and neutral buoyancy, and we even got to um, move around the crater with a compass, and we got to uh, show how we could take our mask off and clear air, and it was just we showed our instructors that we knew what we really need to know for being able to actually scuba dive. I went around uh, my neighborhood uh, door to door and I asked people if they had any jobs they wanted done and um, I, didn't, I didn't set any price because I felt that was or I just I wanted them to kind of however much work I did for them to be able to say how much they thought that was. So I went did that, and then um, with my mom's help and uh, the help of one of my parents' friends, he does a lot of fundraising. So I sent out some emails um, for sponsorship, <laughs> and uh, and then um, I I was I asked for if they were interested, a minimum of $25 sponsorship, and um, 
I also so it wasn't just asking for money because I felt that was a little bit weird. Um, I uh, have been working on uh, updates, so I update them every time something comes up. Like I went to one of the uh, uh, diving groups at Epic, and so after that, I wrote um, an update and sent that off to everybody who sponsored me, and um, writing about how my fundraising's going, and uh, so I did that, and that's how I got most of my funds. I worked um, uh, multiple school dances, uh, for DJ'd those, and so that helped. And um, yeah, I think that's most of the fundraising I did. I I hated the idea of going door to door. I thought like my mom suggested that, and I was like, that's no, that's so, such a bad idea. <laughs> um, but then after doing it, I got more confident, and it was easier to go around. Um, and then it's helped me. Uh, it's also helped me, I think, being more of a leader, I'd say, because just just helping me be more confident. So then I, f I feel more confident in my other classes and in, in like everyday, everyday stuff, and and um, also helping me kind of take more responsibility for what I'm doing. And like for the fundraising, I did all the fundraising, and my parents aren't paying for any of it, so I was really proud of that. And so now I. I feel more like if I really set my mind to doing something, I can. And I knew, like when I started, I wanted to, I wanted to be the one to uh, like pay for most of this because, like, I felt like it was my trip. Like, I signed up for this, and so I didn't want my parents to be like, "Oh, well, we'll put in money," because like they pay for all this other stuff for me. All gone now. The sunken pools of green, and the sandy banks unseen. When the clouds are coming down, it's all gone now. Finding the wrong in the light, dancing in rings of white. Now I see.
but at least the moon lights up the night. Not everything's so black and white. I, 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 I.